The race to develop advanced fighter jets in South Asia is heating up, with Pakistan and India competing for technological supremacy in their respective indigenous aircraft programs. On one side, the Pakistan Air Force is preparing to launch the JF-17 Block 4 under its PFX program, with an expected debut in 2028. On the other, India's Tejas Mk-2 takes the Tejas Mk-1A design to the next level, focusing on evolutionary improvements rather than groundbreaking changes. These differing approaches reflect broader strategic divergences between the two nations. The JF-17 Block 4 aims to incorporate features typically associated with fifth-generation fighter jets, underscoring Pakistan's ambition to push technological boundaries. A key highlight is the inclusion of an internal weapons bay, IWB, a major step towards reducing radar cross-section and enhancing stealth capabilities. However, the compact size of the JF-17 limits the payload capacity of the IWB, especially when it comes to carrying a large number of beyond-visual-range air-to-air missiles. Despite this limitation, the IWB boosts stealth in initial engagements by minimizing the visibility of external weapons. Additionally, the JF-17 Block 4 adopts DSI, Divertless Supersonic Inlet, intakes, which reduce the aircraft's radar cross-section and improve airflow efficiency. These intakes not only enhance stealth, but also prepare the jet for future engine upgrades. This adaptability is crucial for maintaining high performance in high-threat environments, offering greater operational flexibility. These advancements position the JF-17 Block 4 closer to fifth-generation standards, signifying a shift toward a more revolutionary approach in Pakistan's fighter jet development. In contrast, India's Tejas Mk-2 has faced numerous challenges. The Tejas program has been marred by delays since its inception, with the Mk-2 variant, initially set to enter service earlier, continuously pushed back due to design and production bottlenecks. These delays have hindered India's ability to field a competitive aircraft in a timely manner. Furthermore, the indigenous Kaveri engine originally intended to power the Tejas, failed to meet the necessary performance standards, forcing India to rely on imported engines, first the General Electric F404 and later the F414. This dependency has not only raised costs, but also exposed challenges in achieving self-reliance in critical technologies. Additionally, despite efforts to enhance the platform, the Tejas Mk2 has struggled with weight management, impacting both its payload capacity and range. These issues have further complicated its ability to compete with more advanced platforms like the JF-17 Block 4. The contrasting design philosophies of the JF-17 Block 4 and the Tejas Mk2 highlight the differing approaches of their respective nations. The JF-17 Block 4 represents a bold leap forward, incorporating features that align with fifth-generation fighter jet criteria, focusing on stealth, adaptability and future-proofing. Pakistan's focus on innovation and technological risk-taking positions, it as a strong contender in the field of advanced military aviation. In contrast, the Tejas Mk2 reflects an incremental strategy, prioritizing reliability and proven upgrades. However, persistent issues and delays have hindered its ability to emerge as a strong competitor against rapidly advancing adversaries. As modern air combat increasingly emphasizes survivability through stealth, the JF-17 Block 4's internal weapons bay and DSI intakes demonstrate Pakistan's commitment to reducing detectability, even within the constraints of its platform's size. In comparison, the Tejas Mk2's lack of similar features suggests a missed opportunity to aggressively pursue stealth as a core design principle. Ultimately, the JF-17 Block 4 and Tejas Mk2 showcase the divergent strategies of Pakistan and India in their pursuit of advanced fighter jets.
Pakistan's JF-17 Block 4, with its innovative features, embraces a more revolutionary approach to fighter jet design. On the other hand, India's Tejas Mk-2, while showcasing evolutionary upgrades, has been hindered by persistent delays, engine issues, and performance concerns, potentially limiting its competitiveness